And good afternoon, everyone. At first, I would like to thank uh, organizer giving me this opportunity to show one of my projects about the establishment of a test set for material science and engineering. And this, it is just published recently, but this work was launched almost five years ago. Because in this work, we spent quite a lot of time to push the numerical limit of a hierarchy of a set of state-of-the-art density functional methods, including a hybrid HSE and second-order many-body perturbation mass MP2 and also random phase approximation RPA. This methods are indeed beyond my PBE method, so echoing the topic of this section. And here I would like to emphasize that this work cannot be accomplished uh, without a lot of coding effort to make this beyond PBE method efficient enough to handle large data set and K grid and dense K grid. So the importance of a test set was um, first realized right, by, uh, by Popo in early 1990s for the development of electron structure method. And along with their, uh, uh, their development of so-called Gaussian, Gaussian N uh, composition method, a series of pioneering test sets has been uh, established for the method benchmarking. And the first of that is that namely G2 wand, which contained 55 small molecules and the representation uh, and the references, uh, references are the optimization energy from experiment. The instrumental uh, role of the test set has been well documented and discussed and realized in quantum chemistry and also in computational model science. And the data project is a very excellent example in this, uh, from this direction, uh, in this direction. Due to the time limitation, I do not expand discuss about how important it is, but just pass to the um, brief discussion, a review of the MS test set we established. And from this side, we see that uh, in our test set, we contain seven elements and two are binary uh, as the first step, which uh, can be represented to the uh, main group uh, crystal with cubic structure, contains uh, metal bond, ionic bond, covalent bond, and also weak bond. And uh, for reference uh, and the properties, we investigate, uh, we benchmark the calculation for cohesive energy lattice constant and bulk modules. And if I have time, in, uh, I will dis briefly discuss why we choose these properties. And now more and more attention has been um, paid for for the numerical uh, accuracy or numerical precision and uh, 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 reproducibility, in particular in the PB level theory. But now, here we would like to emphasize that if we want to go a step ahead uh, towards a more sophisticated or complicated method, we are encountering a much bigger numerical uh, challenge in numerical uh, precision. And so here, um, uh, in, the, in our MS test project, we also establish a website which contains all the calculation, over 10,000 uh, calculation uh, in, in the project. And our website also offer an e uh, easy access to all of this data. And another key feature of our uh, uh, test set is that we spend a uh, quite strong effort uh, to achieve the high accurate numerical accuracy for cohesive energy properties uh, calculated using LDA, several GGAs, meta GGAs, and hybrids uh, in all electron resolution, and MP2 and RPAs, both with frozen core approximation based on all electron reference, a uh, hydrogen fog PBE and or PBE zero references. Uh, here, uh, as we mentioned briefly about that, to achieve the numerical accuracy for this beyond PBE method, we indeed encounter very big, big uh, numerical challenge. Here we take second order perturbation mass as example, and it is the canonical MP2 uh, formula in periodic boundary condition. And this formula is, is conceptually simple and easy to implement. However, unlike a con uh, convention, however, uh, Unlike conventional DFT, the computational scaling right, is very big, it, which is about fifth order with respect to system size in the, in the unit cell. Meanwhile, moreover, uh, 
the computation scaling with the k-mesh is cubic, which means that for a calculation of 6 by 6 by 6 uh, k-grid uh, calculation, the computation cost is equivalent to the 10 to 7 times of calculation of the system of finite molecules, which have the same system size as the uh, unit cell we investigated in, uh, in, this, uh, in this case. Meanwhile, the memory consumption is very demanding. And uh, with respect to the handling of the electron repulsive integral, the, the network in uh, communication is intensity, which made this very crucial to have a very nice uh, parallel efficiency in the implementation for, with respect to the K, uh, with respect to K mesh and also for uh, molecular orbitals. In order to get a uh, numerical converged MP2 result, we should at the first make sure that our MP2 calculation has been converged with respect to both K grid and base set right, space. Meanwhile, unlike conventional DFT method, uh, MP2 like or uh, the once correlation method not only depends on occupied orbitals, but also depends on non occupied orbitals. So it is easy to understand that the accuracy of an occupied orbital is, much, is more sensitive to the approximation made for the core electrons, right? So uh, we, we performed our MP2 periodic implementation in the FHIMs. Uh, we have demonstrated that our implementation is very efficient in parallel. So the parallel efficiency can, maintain, can retain about 80% uh, with, with respect to several, t uh, several thousands of cores. And Numerical atom center based set used in, in MS code make, make us very easy to treat core electron exactly in the all electron framework. Meanwhile, we can impose uh, the, the localization, we can impose to generate a, a, a numerical atom center based set, make it very easy to alleviate or almost address the heavy uh, ear conditioning problems of Gaussian type based set encountered in, the, in simulating solid. So this is very new, uh, very good feature. Open the door, right, to for a practical implementation, a practical use of a numerical well converged MP2 method for solid. And as a, another key feature of our web uh, of Telsys that we offer uh, a website which contain all the results and made the result easy to assess to be spe uh, specific. We calculate equational state, right? For each materials at each level of mass we investigate here, and also for different uh, and we systematic test the convergence with respect to the uh, uh, k space and base set, and also some other parameters, numerical parameters, makes in uh, specific to the FHMs codes. For example, cutting potential used to generate uh, to impose localization. Uh, into the numerical anti center base set and also the basis size of the auxiliary base set uh, we use for, uh, for to expand the resolution of, of, of identity. And we also provide a visualization to a uh, visualization to to, uh, to, uh, to check the numerical convergence, right? Uh, a base set numerical convergence for total energy and also for all the properties, uh, cohesive properties, including cohesive energy, that is constant and bug modules for different level of mass and different uh, base set and uh, K-mesh level. With this number, I show one of ex uh, I show you the K-grid conversion of different kind of mass, uh, DAPB, HSC, and MP2. x 3 is a uh, MP2 based mass, so we see that uh, we select show you the K-grid convergence of a uh, carbon diamond and MGO. So we see LDAPBE and HC indeed converge very, very fast, right? But MP2 is very, uh, the convergence is very slow. For A by A by A, the error remains about um, several uh, uh, tens, milli, uh, tens milliv uh, per mm -hmm. atoms. So uh, in order to achieve the K-grid, uh, complete K-grid uh, K -grid limit, we use, we use this kind of extrapolation scheme. And in uh, our paper, we discuss how can we speed up the uh, speed up the convergence, uh, achieve more accurate, uh, uh, higher accuracy by optimizing alpha M simultaneously. 
Meanwhile, we also examine the k-grade convergence with respect to different, uh, at a different level of base set. So here we see that uh, the k-grade convergence indeed quite independent, uh, it's indeed quite uh, independent with respect to base set use. So the uh, k-grade error of 4 by 4 by 4 k-mesh uh, is about 115 right, millimeter per atoms no matter uh, what kind of base set use, and the discrepancy is about 2 mEV. Once we increase the k grid to slightly to 6 by 6 by 6, the discrepancy is almost identical, uh, is almost uh, 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 negligible. And this observation here will show you the result for carbon dimer, and this observation, observation is quite general, uh, can be generalized to all the materials we investigate here. So based on this kind of observation, uh, observation we, in, we can approach the MP2, re, uh, uh, MP2 results in complete base limit and uh, K-mesh limit by using the calculation with large beta set and uh, slightly less dense uh, K-grid mesh together with the calculation with small beta set but with reasonably large, uh, dense K-mesh. So based on this kind of uh, understanding and manipulation, here I show you some uh, the basic set convergence, set convergence for, for solid. And uh, for selected for, for, uh, for, for crystal, including the diamond, silicon, MGO, and uh, uh, foreign aluminum. So from this table, we can see that the geometry parameter, for example, uh, lattice constant and bug modules, the base set conversion is indeed very fast. In fact, the calculation based on double theta, right, has been very close to the complete base set limit result. And in fact, the calculation with triple theta base set has been very close. However, it is not true for the cohesive energy calculation. In fact, the uh, basic error in the quadruple theta basic set uh, uh, is still remaining about 100 milli EV compared to the extrapolated, uh, compared to the complete basic limit, which means that uh, this kind, uh, this numerical challenge uh, toward the basic set convergence on P2 can be somewhat uh, ignored or sometimes over uh, overlooked if we if we just if we just uh, focus on the numerical precision of the equation state only. Right, and in our test set, we also offer some uh, the basic linear regression analysis and visualization to uh, compare and analyze and understanding uh, the result we, uh, uh, we we calculate and generate in the project. And in the paper, we show several examples to show that how we can use this kind of simple analysis to achieve the deep and uh, the better understanding of a numerical challenge. Uh, for different kind, of, different level of method, and for different kind of chemical interactions, here I show you one of example. Um, this is the crossover comparison for cohesive energy calculated at, by different different method, and uh, in the up uh, triangle region, it is RMSC for the MP, uh, for cohesive energy calculation by different method. For example, 760 milliEV is the energy difference between the PBE cohesive energy and LDA. So we see that LDA as the uh, as the approximation in the lowest rug of Jacobs ladder in DFT, it indeed shows the largest deviation with respect to all the other methods. Compared to the experiment, right, it remains about 700 mV difference, which cannot be used anyway for reapplication. But we also uh, Examine the uh, compare the uh, uh, difference with different uh, difference in of different calculation after linear regression, and now we see that uh, the LDA error can be reduced systematically, right? So the intrinsic error has uh, uh, contains uh, is only about 150 mEV, which means uh, it is also true for all the other kind of method, which suggests that the error. Uh, in different kind of level for cohesive calculation is quite systematic. Some of the error might overestimate the cohesive energy, but some others might underestimate them. So in the last several uh, slides, I show how we can use uh, this knowledge to understand and develop uh, and guide the development of the next generation dense functional approximation. Here I take a very simple uh, catalysis as example. The so-called uh, chemical catalysis is very, is conceptually simple, right? 
it is nothing but a molecule A and B in gas phase, which absorbs on, on surface and diffuse, collect, react, and let the product AB uh, dissolved. In this reaction, the essential of this reaction is nothing but the gas phase reaction from A plus B to AB. However, the under, however, accommodation of the of a solid is essential to achieve the promising catalyst effect. So, if we want to have a method which can describe catalyst systems well, we need an electron structure approximation which can describe molecule and the solid well, simultaneously well. We cannot expect that one method can predict molecule well, but not for solid. The result is transferable. Right? Unfortunately, it is not so easy to achieve. In fact, when uh, Gearcrest right, uh, implement, uh, fulfilled the uh, hybrid function implementation in, uh, in WASP, they have benchmarked the performance of PBE function, uh, B3 lib functional, right? B B3 lib is a uh, is, uh, most popular functional in quantum chemistry. And here we take optimization of 140 small molecules. As example, we see that the performance is quite good. The error is about 130 millivi. However, its predicting power for solid is quite weak. Error, uh, so the error for cohesive energy of 10 simple crystals, right? About 340 millivi. On the other hand, PBE is the most popular density functional method in, uh, for computation material science because it performs quite good, right? For, uh, for solid. However, the error for optimization energy is in this uh, unacceptable. That's the reason why in quantum chemistry, nobody really use PBE like a family of functional. And scan functional uh, show a, step, a big step ahead for accuracy, right, toward a, a description of, of solid. The error for cohesive energy um, is, uh, is about only 70 mEV. However, the error for molecules remain about 250. And as a simple correlation functional, MP2 uh, is, an, is neither accurate, acceptable for, for small molecules, not for, for, uh, for solid. However, as we have uh, already have periodic implementation of MP2, so we can also easily to extend the performance of any MP2 based method X23 is one kind of double hybrid functional. The so-called double hybrid is that in the functional construction, we include not only uh, occupy orbital in forms of hatching fog exact change, but also introduce unoccupied orbital in forms of the MP2 correlation. So we can introduce and construct this function from the adiabatic connection framework, but from a numeric point of view, it is nothing but a simple combination between a modified hybrid function no, uh, uh, together with MP2. Now we are happy here, right, for several reasons. At first, we see that the accuracy we achieve for, mean apps, uh, for small molecules can indeed generalize to, uh, can indeed transferable to, to, to solid. And double hybrid functional is now leading actor in quantum chemistry because it is very numer it's numerical stable and comprehensive benchmark demonstrating that double hybrid functional can provide unprecedented accuracy for almost every kind of chemical interaction. Weak interaction, covalent bond, reaction barrier heights uh, uh, for small, uh, for, for main group elements. And, and, and the second reason is that based on this understanding, we confirmed that well, the observation conclusion we made in our test set project that is, uh, is, is correct, right? Uh, accurate uh, further improvement, improvement for the cohesive energy calculation can indeed achieved by simple mix of different level of mass. Uh, finally, I am just make some a uh, conclusion that we established a test set for uh, material science and engineering. Right? It is as a first step. It, it is represented for uh, main group crystal with um, cubic structure, and in our test set we. Uh, we examine a series of dense function approximation across over all racks of Jacob's ladder, and we provide some kind of visual, uh, 
a test set, uh, a corresponding text set with user-friendly uh, visualization toolkit. And finally, I would like to thank the all co-operator and thank you for your attention.